you might have seen auctions in movies where the auctioneer auctions off goods and items and people raise their bidder card to make their bids but did you know that auctions happen in the financial markets too well if you didn't then make sure that you watch this video till the end hello guys this is shweta and welcome to the world of wall street mojo what is an auction market you might know an auction market where a seller keeps something for auction to which buyers put in their bids whoever has the highest bid gets to buy it the same thing happens in financial markets also buyers and sellers quote their price for buying or selling the financial assets and if the transaction is complete just when there is a match between the prices let's consider apple's share See the buyers have put in their buy order at $172.05 and $172.10 and $172.15. On the other hand, the sellers put in their sell order at $172.25, $172.20 and $172.15. The transaction will complete at $172.15 since there is a matching order at that price point. How does the auction market process works? The entire process of an auction is simple. On the one hand, buyers put their buy order for the financial assets, also known as bid. On the other hand, sellers put in their sell orders, also known as ask. Now the financial market has a mechanism for matching the orders. It looks to match the highest offer from the buyers with the offer from the sellers. Once the bid and the ask price match, congratulations, the transaction is complete. If there is no order match on any bid or ask, those orders remain open and pending until they match with an opposite order. This entire process is continuous and repeatedly happens throughout the trading day. It is from this process that the market price of the financial assets is determined. Examples the Chicago Mercantile Exchange CME and the New York Stock Exchange NYSE still operate the open outcry trading system where the auction process happens as the traders shout their bids and ask prices the trading that happens on computers also happen through the auction system only however the electronic method has a couple of advantages it costs less execution is better and faster and there is less manipulation compared to the open outcry system with the advancement in technology everyone has access to the internet now so the electronic mode of trading has become more convenient in 2007 even nyse went from having an open outcry system to a hybrid one Along with the auction market there is even something known as a dealer market that is prevalent in finance. You have already seen an example of an auction market so here is how a dealer market would work. See a dealer already holds shares of Apple and may want to sell some of it. The current price of the market for Apple's shares may be $172 but the dealer may quote their selling price at $171.50. Any investor looking to buy Apple's share will prefer buying at this price as they are getting it at a discount. Now that you have got an idea of the two types of market mechanism, here is a brief comparison. Firstly, in an auction market, we saw buyers and sellers quote their offers and the transaction happens when their orders match. In the dealers market the dealers specify a price at which the financial asset shall be sold or bought. Secondly, in an auction market there is a plain matching of orders after some price discovery takes place. In the dealer market the dealer is the market maker as they are creating liquidity and transparency in the market. Finally, all types of securities are traded in the auction market beat equities, future or options. Whereas the dealer market is a place for OTC securities market and government securities market. This was all about the auction market and its mechanism. We hope you learned a lot from this video. If you think you did, then do like the video. Also, we regularly come up with such content on stock markets, so don't forget to subscribe to the channel.